last night's debut of Hard Knocks with the Detroit Lions for this training camp at 10 p.m. Eastern, which pissed off a lot of people with how late it is running. A lot of people in Detroit saying, I got a job more more. That's right. That's they right. want me to watch a team that I love in a city that I love, which is a blue collar city. And they want me to stay up till 10 p.m. to watch this team. They need to move that earlier. I don't know about any of that or the scheduling conflicts that HBO might have with that entire maneuver to make it happen. But if you're watching it at 10 live or you're watching later on uh, uh, HBO Max or anywhere else, it does not, it is going to be fucking epic this yeah. season. Everything we had thought, everything we had hoped. Now, there was no coffee bong or coffee funnel, mm. depending upon where you were from, with MCDC in his office. But to be honest, we haven't seen his office yet. Mm -mm. So that could still be on the way. MCDC is electrifying. He gave numerous speeches, one of them in the leading team meeting of training camp. The one where you're going to set the tone for the team. Here's the rules, man. All right. Here's the rules. Don't be late. Nope. Don't be overweight. Respect the game. And respect the shield or something. <laughs> yeah. right. There's the rules. All right. Don't be late. Don't be fat. Respect the game. Respect the shield. Yeah. That's all we need, man. Then he also told a story about how he doesn't care if you have one ass cheek and three toes. Nope. They will still beat your ass. <laughs> we'll fight you here. We'll fight you there. We'll fight you in a landfill, man. Landfill. Man. And then whenever he, uh, whenever he's going to wrap it up, you know, I think he was talking to the guys. They cut out a little portion of the speech. He was talking to the guys about the end of training camp and then the season. He said, I like the end of the tunnel. That's a freight train, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the Metallica fans were losing their minds on Twitter saying, hey, that's about... Hell and yeah. then at the end, <laughs> uh -huh. at the end, Hard Knocks brought it all together with mm -hmm. that song playing while they're training. There were some moments that made me go, oh, this is a movie. Like, this yeah. is... This is how people think training camps are supposed to go. <laughs> this is exactly what training camp in like fairy tale worlds would be. Bunch of meatheads running around doing 40 fucking up downs Jesus. before practice. They got the 10, then they got the 20. What? And I, every single time, 25 they got to, I'm like, gotta be 25 mm -hmm. is the max. They get to 29, they get to 30, they say 10 more. Mm. I was just thinking to myself, accidentally fucking around and <laughs> saying, I'll do them with you guys <laughs> in unity and then finding out after 10, oh, we're doing how many? Hardy. <laughs> so we went after that guy who wasn't standing up all the way and going down number 50 or whatever. I like to rescind all that. I haven't done 40 up downs in one time since probably one pissed off Rich Rodriguez in college. <laughs> I, and I don't know if I could do it. I know that all the boys are in much better shape than I would ever be, but that seemed like a lot of up-downs. Yeah. And uh, Dan Campbell was doing with a broken freaking wrist, man. Yeah, no yeah. big deal. I, a couple days ago, one of the dogs got me. I didn't know. When I was starting to do the up-downs, I taped it up. I didn't know if I was going to make it. It's the head coach. <laughs> yeah. The head coach, Deuce Staley, former running back, numerous teams, won a Super Bowl, absolute stallion of a human. The assistant head coach, him and Aaron Glenn, the defensive coordinator during team periods, Running each other down, yeah, yeah. talking Barking. real yeah. shit to each other. Amazing! It is everything that we had ever wanted a NFL training camp to be is happening in Detroit now. If we are going to go on predictions of how the Lions are going to do this season after watching one practice or one hard knocks, we, we'd be ignorant to do as such. Yeah, right. Of course. There was a couple things I seen in that that I was like, well, I've never seen a team do that. I have never seen that be okay. Somebody asked Dan Campbell about Aiden Hutchinson getting chipped at the line. Mm -hmm. And I think the way the reporter was asking the question was like, hey, are you going to – This is Need this guy. This first-round draft pick, you're getting him chipped literally before his first even preseason game happens. That's a twisting motion. That's mm -hmm. a blind side. Like – and Dan Campbell was like, he'll learn, man. <laughs> yeah. he'll, he'll learn. Like, they are running that team different than any team I've ever seen. Uh, it's a lot of players, obviously. A lot of guys invested. Kelvin Shepard was a, a teammate of mine, loved by the locker room. I assume he's loved up there. Great fucking player. Brought a hammer. Like he mm -hmm. was a guy that absolutely brought a hammer. When they were listing off all the training camps from all the coaches, oh, they got like 60 what? or 80-some 80 80 80. 80 seasons of uh, training camp mm -hmm. experience from playing days as coaches up there. Seems like they all have that trait, the DNA trait that you have to have to be a coach. Whatever the case, I don't know how the Lions are going to do this season. I have no idea. Yeah. But I do know. I fucking love the Detroit Lions. Yes. Big time. Hell yeah. And I, I love Woo! what Hard Knocks is going to be. Hard Knocks, the NFL Films people, there was clips coming out from the NFL Films producers, and we have two of them on today. Ken Rogers, who is the producer of the Hard Knocks Detroit Lions, and Keith Cosro, who's been on the show before. He'll be running the Arizona Cardinals Hard Knocks in the season, like the Colts had last season. The Cardinals are doing this season. Ran a little teaser at the oh, end. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Electric teaser. A little teaser at the end. No sound. Just mm -hmm. D-Hop doing a one-legged lift thing, I think, after his injury. I wonder if that was before or after the suspension came in who knows how long they've been filming but we'll be talking to a couple of
of the producers of NFL, from NFL Films, about Hard Knocks, when they showed up there and they started shooting and they have their group meetings, being like, these guys are the most wide open guys. They're <laughs> yeah. acting as if there's no camera there. They're almost turning it up because of cameras there. A little there, bit. Where most places we haven't seen that. Aiden Hutchinson's performance in that team meeting, the Great. rookie show, fucking unbelievable. Great energy. Imagine somebody doing spoken word in that now, mm, right? Yeah. After you saw how that one went, mm -hmm. now imagine somebody going up there and doing spoken word. That is what me and Darius and Chuck have talked about, where there was, an, there was a time where those, those shows there that Aiden did and the other guy did, that, that's like a... It's almost like a last ditch energy for the team. Yeah. That's at the end of the night, right before meetings are about to take place. Everybody's tired. Everybody's miserable. Hey, rookie, need you to go up there. We've all done this. Literally, this is mm -hmm. everything that's ever happened. Everybody that's ever been in the NFL, unless they miss training camp the rookie year, and then they just end up going on to be a stud or whatever. Everybody has done this. So when Aiden goes up there and gets it, brings that energy and the whole place, mm -hmm. you see that whole place singing uh, with him? Like, that is the goal. That mm -hmm. is the goal of that entire thing. Coaches know what the goal is. Players know what the goal is. The rookies, though, kind of new to it, not understanding it. So when it, this one generation of guys started showing up there and doing these spoken words, yikes! imagine how disappointed everybody in the room was. Yeah. Bold. Just yeah. imagine. Chuck Pagano is the head coach. He has to be nice to everybody, you know, because the coach is on everybody's team, and this guy that's doing the spoken word who was a rookie didn't make our team. Obviously, we all knew that. Chuck didn't know if that guy was going to make the team, though. Sure. Maybe he had Chuck holding on hope to him. As soon as somebody starts going, yeah, when I grew up, you know, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. A lot of people checking out. Right. <laughs> yes. Next. So Aiden crushing it, getting it, and seemingly being a guy, by the way. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed his comment of saying, did, did we know we were going to do all those up-downs at one time? Did we? <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect that. He seems to be quite a leader, but what an electrifying show last night. What a debut. It was a little bit shorter, I thought, yeah. than some of them, yep. but it left us all wanting more. Uh, at Ty Schmidt, at Boston Connor, at Tone Diggs, all watched it. Foxy, you're rocking the MCDC shirt. Yeah. How pumped are you? You guys were so hyped for this because it was all positive momentum. People were betting on the Lions. People like the Lions. Yes. There's a new uh, you know, sheriff in town almost. And the NFL Films people are putting out clips saying, we're getting the best clips we've ever gotten yeah. in the history yes. of Hard Knocks. All, all signs were going towards like, like, good news for the Lions. Yep. Last night was a smashing success, Foxy. Yes, sir. I got three quick takeaways for you guys. Number one, that was probably the best hour of Lions football I have ever watched in my life. All right, okay. congrats. Okay. All right. Congrats. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, NFL Films. Yeah. Yeah. Start. Shout out them. They did great. Number two, MCDC is the perfect coach for Detroit, for Michigan, for the Lions. He can coach forever. I don't care how many games he wins. Well, I don't care how many games well. he loses. He can stay forever. I fucking love hey, MCDC. Baby, MCDC. Hey, baby, MCDC. Hey, MCDC. Come on, D's, man. Last one. You did. On you did. Yes, you did. You did. Old school, man. <laughs> and last one, we kind of hit on this, and this one's really important. For the first time ever, people outside of the state of Michigan, outside of the city of Detroit, are going to be rooting for the Detroit Lions. You literally just said it on the beginning of the show. I said it. A lot of people on the internet said it last you night. You are a Lions fan, and that's really cool because Lions are never on prime time. No one gives a fuck about well, them. Well, Thanksgiving, you guys hold us hostage. Mm -hmm. yep, right. Thanksgiving's the only Detroit time. The one we need football the most. The only yeah. time. So shout out fans. NFL yeah, films. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't want to do. Don't, don't want to do the political conversation. Everyone. Everybody's uh, miserable. We're just football. And Detroit's like, we're going to be here every week with your every year with your family. We'll play the Bears. We're doing Thanksgiving together. We'll play the Bears. Hey, come on, we're going to be here. It's like, all right, thank you, Lions, for doing that. Yep. But now it's, I want to see this team. Absolutely. Yes. I want to see Deuce Staley, you know, after the defense gives up a long tud at the end of a game. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see him sprint over to AG and say, you fucking asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they were asked immediately about the relationship with each other, and they said, uh, oh, I love that man. Yeah. And then they show clips, you motherfucker. Mm -hmm. the, Deuce Staley... You know, talking a lot of shit, loud, offense is doing well, then defense is going well. Then I think defense continued to do well and continue to continue, continue to do well. And Deuce Staley got quiet. And I think in real lifetime, probably 20, 25 minutes, probably quiet. And then running back caught one. And they had a side angle shot of Deuce sprinting over to Aaron almost like, uh, you thought I forgot? You thought I forgot? <laughs> yeah. It was just like perfect entertainment. It is, it is a movie, what Hard Knocks is this year. Yes. And I... I love everything about it. The speeches are out of a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the speeches aren't they what would a football speech sound like? Boom. Better though. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's coming from Dan Campbell. Mm -hmm. So it's it is the NFL films people have got to be fucking pumped up. Now, 
what will this mean? Well, more people probably die, uh, buy Lions merch. Sure. So that means the owner of the family will get more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Sheila. 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 Sheila right. Fort Hale. The owning family will get more money, which means they'll pay back Calvin Johnson. Right. Which right. means right. the right. curse will be lifted. It'll be huge. Which means Detroit comes full circle and the uh, Lions start winning games. Uh, oh, yeah. Aaron Rodgers said on Shine, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it might have been Shine. I'm not sure. I think it was Shine. Uh, he said... Um, you know, it's starting to really track together, sync together, him and Jordan Love. Yeah. Because he said, you know, I sat behind Brett for three years, started getting a little bit better, a little bit more comfortable. And there's people going, whoa, 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 what does that mean? And Aaron has alluded to it a couple different times. Mm -hmm. So if you're MCDC, Antoine Randall, Deuce Daly, Mark Brunel, Aaron Glenn, Kelvin Shepard, and the boys up mm -hmm. there, you got to think to yourself, we just got to hold on for one more year, man. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? Aiden Hutchinson, we can't tear an ACL in practice with a blindside chip. You got to learn, man. That's what it's going to be like in a goddamn game, man. It is. It's got to be a great time to be a line right now. And I genuinely believe, with the way the reaction was to that last night, and there will always be those fans and blogs that are pissed off about not having Super Bowls and whatever. This is going to be a season where no matter what happens. I think they got another pass. Yeah. They yeah. won about three games last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's still super pumped about it in mm -hmm. Detroit. And Jared Goff's still their quarterback. They're paying him $30 million. Yeah. Everybody's still super pumped. I think after Hard Knocks, everybody's going to be like, all right, we'll give them at least that. They're building something. That's right, Foxy. Yeah. You guys feel like it's it's at least something. Spot it, on, one thousand percent. We have an identity of some sort now. The most like, Lions thing ever would be to fire this entire coaching staff, even whoa, if we had a whoa, bad whoa. year. Well, and, because they love the fucking team so much, it would be the most Lions thing. ever. I have never seen a practice go the way that those practices go. What last do you night. mean? <laughs> In what way? What you I mean, what's that about? It was just day four. <laughs> day four, you got tackling through the ground. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Which, by the way, MCDC gave a great speech. He said, all I think about is you guys, man. Do one. this for you, man. Literally, all I think about awesome. is you guys. It was awesome. I'd, and he started getting, like, emotional. Mm -hmm. And Chuck said, how many times is he going to cry? In his? I think it was four. Yeah. I think it was yeah. four. Yeah. I think week, it was four cries. Always crying. First Here. week. I, by the way, they're emotional. They're bought they in. They're invested. Which the Lions got to love. Yes. Gotta love. Yes. Lions got to fucking love. I think their fans got to absolutely love. A thousand percent. But, I, you know, like Jamal's speech. Sure. Everybody, the internet loved it. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a very good thing. Just like Chuck said yesterday, very he's talking to 60 guys that aren't going to be on the team there. Yeah. Yeah, so you know what I mean? So that speech, I understand, but maybe... And I like that he's invested all in Jamal. Is, I feel like he feels like he is a almost a, a stalwart of that that organization now yeah. with MCDC because MCDC and him had a conversation yeah. in the middle of the show. I'm never worried about you. I'm worried about you. I know you're ready to Every go. Every day, man. man. Yeah, they love mm -hmm. each other. Oh, yeah. So Jamal is going to mm -hmm. be, and he led the team out. I think he was taking photos at one point at the practice. So I think he is like one of the guys, right? up there. He is the yeah. guy. There's a lot of young guys, so Jamal's kind of a vet, and so he's the leader of the team at that point. But in the city, too, he's viewed as, yes, I think, like 100%. one of the faces fans, of fans the Lions. Does it doesn't matter that he's not him. the starter. Well, that's a fascinating thing. I was a punter, you know, and I had pretty good starting punter. Yeah. Swift well, is their starting. Still punter. I mean, yeah. Let's, we need a first down late in the game. Guess what? They ain't sending me out there. <laughs> you know you don't I mean? want to fuck with Swift. That's exactly. not true. Yeah, he will kill you. Allegedly. 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 Self defense. By the way, he said that as a joke, maybe, but actually said it as. There was that rumor floating around for a good two, three days. That just yeah. disappeared. Is that going to get addressed in Hard Rock? I hope so. I don't. I think That'd he was cool. only on for a little bit last night. But like you mentioned too, like it's it's fun and it was it was awesome. You know, and like as a Packers fan, you don't really care about the Lions because for so long Jeez. it's just like they're not going to win. They just haven't. I hope they do. But you're right. Like that speech. Like are people still invested in that if they're one and eight? You know, like four months from now. So it is interesting because this happens every year with Hard Knocks. It does. And granted, this. A not every year, not every year. It does. Every, now, every while we were watching the Colts, we were all Yeah, that was in know. season. That I'm was, saying the, 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 the Dallas. Dallas. The yeah. Cowboys. The training right. camp ones, the Falcons run it a couple years ago and they were terrible after it. Like they're the only team you're seeing right. and you're seeing them so intimately that it's like you get you get swept up in everything and it's and it's so well produced that it's like you know what? Why not the Lions? Yeah. Why maybe, not? Maybe yes. it could be yeah. them. Why don't they? Why, why don't the Lions just sneak into the playoffs in an NFC that's pretty top heavy? Yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is that's not going to happen. So we should oh. enjoy these five weeks while we can. <laughs> yeah, that's real though. And like, I think everybody's rooting for them. Like, I think yeah. we all want yeah. them to do well. And yeah. it's clear like they're going to do better. But you know, five and twelve is still probably a realistic record.